So this is XXL Sculpted. Thank you. She posted the website. Let's pin it. Antonia is here. Those nails are just fire. Look at that, children. So elegant. And the ones we did yesterday are here too. I wish I would have done the thumb on Facebook yesterday, but I didn't have time. But these are yesterday's nails that I did. And these are the XXL Sculpted Coffin with the teddy bears. Aren't they everything? Like very like, this is fun right there with the new stickers that we launched yesterday. To me, they felt very Chola Barbie-esque, but everyone's like, they feel very like Avril Lavigne, very Gwen Stefani-esque. So here we have the new sculpt, XXL Sculpted Coffin, and this is XXL Sculpted Stiletto, which are the two new shapes that we dropped. So um, at the end of summer 2020, we're gonna be dropping XXL Sculpted Square 2. Yeah. Did you have to change it? No. Oh. And let me see if I have the regular XXL Stiletto, so that way we can compare it just for giggles for the girls. And I thought I did. So you guys can see the difference in the shape. Give me one second, you guys, and I'll show you. Always calling her name in vain. So here is, you guys can see. So this one's more natural, it's more flat. And here it is sculpted, so you can see it's a little bit more skinny because it's a sculpted shape, more tubular. It's got that apex right there and a very deep C curve on the inside. And this one is more natural for the flatter, wider phalanges. Oh, thank you, I'm so glad you love Happy Gel. So here you guys can see. So this is XXL Stiletto, this is XXL Sculpted Stiletto. And this is the one we're gonna be using today. To the side. Beautiful. We're gonna squeeze out some DIY gel. Remember, if you have flat nails and you want to use a sculpted series, what you do is you would build out your nail with press-on gel in either clear or pink. And I would do a heavy amount at the free edge so that way it has a higher apex. Your nail can like build it out. So that way when you do put on the one, two, three, go nail, you don't have to put so much gel on the inside. So let's make sure we apply enough on the inside. Beautiful. Oh, the ads, the ads, the ads. So let's rock her on into place. There we go. And I'm going to freeze it in place. I don't have to worry about making sure the gel's all the way to the free edge because um, I'm going to take them off anyway because I have peel-off base coat on my nail. Let's freeze her for a few seconds. Lovely. So let's bake her for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Up. So now not only do we have the longest full coverage gel nails in the industry, which are the 5XL Square and 5XL Stiletto, we now have both XXL in natural and in sculpted. So that way it just gives you guys more options and more versatility, you know, it's so important to have both styles if you're doing this on customers or also on yourself too. 
it's just another option to be able to really customize the service or the nails to fit your uh, nail, uh, hands better and have a beautiful long lasting result. What's on your nail right now? I'm wearing pink press on gel. Used DIY gel for the first time yesterday and it was amazing. Oh, I'm so glad you loved it. Isn't it fabulous? So we're gonna shape them up right now. Beautiful. So we're gonna make sure those sides are nice and snatched. And today I'm not going for a super pointy look. I want something a little bit more on the natural side. A little bit softer, if you will. And then let's blend in the cuticle. What is DIY gel? DIY gel is like press-on gel, similar, but in a tube. And it's designed for multiple uses. And it's a great option and it's a great tool to have in your arsenal of 123 Go. If you want a full description, it's on the website. And I also, in the vid launch video, it is also really, really elaborately uh, detailed in there as well, too. So let's go in with Diamond Manny. Hi from Australia. Do I need any type of base coat? It's in the product description for DIY gel. Hi Sandra, long time no see. So let's go in with Diamond Manny. Blend in that cuticle area. Get it really, really airbrushed. No lines of demarcation in our lives. How do you safely take these off without damaging the natural? Well, you can file them off or you can soak them off in pure acetone. And they soak off in anywhere from two, 10 to 20 minutes. So we're gonna go in with a diamond prep at a very low speed. And we're gonna take it directly where the natural nail and the phalange meet. And we're gonna go in and blend, blend, blend. So that way when you turn the nail over to the side, there's absolutely no line of demarcation. With the new puppy, awesome, congratulations. So again, refine the sides, make sure she is skinny mini. And now we're gonna remove the shine off the nail using the purple buffer. You guys wanna hear a funny story? I was actually gonna go to New York this week, legit, for like a day. Because there was this polo shirt I want from Chanel. And I've never bought from Chanel here in the States. I only bought Chanel once um, in Japan when I went for uh, New Year's Eve a few years ago. So there was this polo shirt that I saw. It was black and neon pink. And I was like, I need to have it because it's black and neon pink. So then I called Chanel and they will not sell it to you online. And they will not sell it to you over the phone. They're like, you need to make your first purchase um, in person at a boutique and register. And then we can start selling to you over the phone or over um, the internet. And I was like, well, I can't really go to New York just to pick up a shirt. And they're like, well, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. They're like, you can contact Bedford Goodman, which has the size that um, might fit me, which was a large. And they're like, um, but you need to go in person. And finally, I called Bedford Goodman today, you guys, and they called me back. And they're like, oh yeah, we can sell it to you over the phone, no problem. And I was like, what? So we're gonna use this beautiful nude with sparkle. It's like a pearlescent nude with sparkle. It's such a beautiful color. And we're going to apply it over the entire phalange. So I am crazy. I was gonna go to New York literally for a day just to buy a shirt. But thankfully the people at Bedford Goodman were nice enough to sell it to me over the phone. Cause I, I mean, I kind of didn't want it. I did and I didn't want to go to New York for a day. I have some really good friends there like um, my friend Julie Candlelick, who is a celebrity nail technician. And I haven't seen her in a while. So I was like, oh, it'll be cool to go see her. But uh, that is a long flight for just a shirt. You started with peel off base coat gel first and then DIY gel. 
the gel you pu uh, put into press on gel sorry i came in late i put on peel off base coat on my nails so that way i can take them off at the end of the video because i don't wear nails but if you want to keep them on then you would remove the shine off the nail one coat prep one coat primer i would do press on gel over the natural nail as a base cure that and then apply the nail with press on gel with uh, either press on gel or with diy gel So we're going to do a second coat of this beautiful sparkly nude, which is from BB Ombre. Look at that, you guys. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And let's bake it again for another one minute. So when we're going to apply stickers, or any kind of embellishment on top of gel polish. I personally don't recommend applying shiny gel and then the sticker on top because that's gonna make the nail super thick and the surface a little bit too smooth for the sticker to apply to because the surface is already like super perfect and shiny and the sticker st sticks a little bit better to something that's a little bit more um, textured, if you will. So I recommend to remove the um, oxygen inhibition layer, AKA the sticky layer of gel after you fully cure the color and then put the sticker on top of that and that will also help keep the nail more skinny. You can rewatch the video for the bits, but today we used Diamond Prep, Diamond Manny. We used also Golden Wand to blend the cuticle area. When doing peel off base coat, do you need one or two coats? I do two and I let them dry. And then I apply my one, two, three coat on top of that, but then they're not gonna last. That's why the peel off base coat makes them come off so easily. That's how I'm able to take my nails off every day. So I'm gonna take a little Lux brush wipe with some hand sanitizer. I don't use alcohol because alcohol has a lot of water in it. And our hand sanitizer does not, it's ethanol based. And I'm going to very gently remove the sticky layer of gel. I'm gonna give it a few seconds to dry so that way I can put my stickers directly on top of that. I'm sorry. Remember, if you use alcohol, it can lead to lifting and we don't want any lifting or peeling with our nails. So now we're going to begin the snatching of the phalange. So let us embellish her out. So let's get some of these beautiful black and white flowers, you guys. So elegant. Remember, you guys, never apply the flowers too close to the edge. Doing so will make it easier for them to peel off. So leave a tiny little space. If the sticker is too close to the edge, get your pink scissors and trim it. So that way that sticker is close but not touching the edge of the nail. Focus, camera. Focus. And our stickers are so thin, you can really layer them without any worry. So remember when applying stickers, there's three essential tools. Pink tweezers, silicone pusher, and pink scissors. And to apply a little butterfly to the thumb. You can see I'm really using elbow grease to really press down the sticker so that way it doesn't peel and it just lays super flat. This color is so reflective it's hard for the camera to focus. And then let's put a I love you in here.
beautiful. Look at that. And it's awesome. I'm so glad you loved them. Aren't they beautiful? And we have such a w wide variety of stickers, but something I want to point out is that our sticker line is super commercial in the respect that I wanted to manufacture stickers that would be used every day. Because sometimes we buy things and then just sit in our drawer and we never use them. The same goes with our flash gel. I think that's why it sold out so quickly. It was because the colors that we do make are super commercial and colors that, you know, whether you're using it on yourself or using it on clients, um, you will use and not sit there in a drawer collecting dust. Because I think that, you know, for us that do nails as a living, we buy things and then they just sit there. And at enocouture.com, we don't want to do that. We want things that you will use and buy again and again because they're making you money. So we're gonna do a thin coat of clear press on gel. And what this is going to do is it's going to plump up the nail. It's gonna add volume and it's also gonna melt that sticker into the gel polish. So we're gonna do make sure that this layer is super thin, okay? Focus camera, there we go. See, look at that you guys, absolutely no lines of demarcation in the sticker. So I'm going to use my silicone tool. This one has a little round end and then just dip it into the press on gel and then pick up Prisma. And the cool thing about working on top of our silicone mat is that if the glitter falls, you can pick her back up. Isn't that stunning? Beautiful. So we're gonna bake this for 30 seconds inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. Just to freeze it in place and then we're gonna seal the whole nail with one coat of shiny. Are you guys living for the sticker line? And also let me know in the comments what you think about our new XXL Sculpted Coffin and XXL Sculpted Stiletto. And then we're gonna do a nice little layer of shiny over the entire nail. Nice even coat. Beautiful. So we're going to bake it now for one whole minute. Love the stickers. Look how cool they look into the lamp too. That whole finished look is just beautiful. A trip to St. Augustine. And yes, I will be drinking from the fountain. What's St. Augustine? I know it's a town in Florida, isn't it? Is there a famous fountain there? Love this. So glad I didn't miss today's live. Oh, thank you.
and we're going to be launching more and more stickers you guys so stay tuned for that and we will be launching i am very uh heavily considering making more flash shells because you guys love the flash shells they literally sold out like in two days Pones the de Leon found it. Wow. What's the fountain look like? The fountain of youth is in St. Augustine, Florida. Is that real? Is it like an actual fountain you can drink out of? Because I will go right now and just chug that thing. Bathe in it. Sacrifice a goat in it. So remember, you guys, after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're going to wait 10 seconds before we apply a cotton candy cuticle oil to make sure that nail does not lose its shine and that cuticle stays nice and moisturized. Literally a hole in the wall, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to Google it. Let's get some lighting up in here for the children. Look at that, you guys, beautiful. They're not that long, but you can definitely cut these down and reshape uh, them if you want. But this is the famous XXL sculpted stiletto. And if you want to see the XXL coffin, sculpted coffin, I'm sorry, check out yesterday's picture, the pink, hot neon pink with all the black accents on there. You guys literally, these look like they were hand painted. Isn't that stunning? So beautiful and easy, too. These nails are very chic. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out our brand new shapes, XXL Sculpted Coffin and XXL Sculpted Stiletto. And our famous sticker line. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, you guys, and I will see you in the next live video. Bye, everybody.